Hi there, um, back again. This is a bit different this time. It's not a ride or anything. It's a bit. It's still bike related, and um, for me at least anyway. And I hope it's something that helps out other bikers that are in the same kind of a bit pain of a situation. Um, our bikes are a pride and joy, and obviously we want to clean them pretty much constantly. As soon as I see a speck of dust on there, I want to be out scrubbing away at it. For me, this is really difficult. I live in the ninth floor of a building, and. Obviously it's not possible for me to have a hose out nine floors or power washer um, or really, you know, it's not really practical even for buckets of water down the bike. So it can take a long time and it can be a real pain in the ass or I take it up to a garage, petrol station, whatever, and I pay two, three pound every time, which speaking for myself is quite often when I want to clean the bike. So I've seen something online and I thought I'd give it a try and I thought I'd do it for my channel just to see if it's something that other people are interested in and that it can maybe help, as I said, other bikers in the situation. So what I bought is this. This is just off of Amazon. Um, it is a Kingfisher Homeware Professional Vehicle Washing Sprayer. All those words are very nice sounding, but all of them together makes me mildly suspicious that it's just got too many adjectives. So, looking through the box, other than the fact it's a bit damaged from delivery, it says it's good for the car, for boats, I, I suppose, it's, you've never got enough water on boats, I guess. Um, it says it's good for camping, but I've been camping a few times, especially with the bike, and I've never thought to myself, I'm really missing out on a power washer. So, you know, maybe if they have tried to sell it to that crowd, that's fine. Personally, I think maybe just more useful at home. Um, just for people who don't have access or easy access to hoses and such. So it's basically, they call it pressure washer because it uses pressure to pump the water. I would view it more as a giant super soaker. So here's our main tank here and wire. Um, and I'm sure you know how a super soaker works. You pump up the little wee trigger or whatever you want to call it at the end, just a wee pump. And it creates pressure inside the little tube at the top and that fires the water out the other end. So this is the same thing, you've got your tube, you've got your pump, you've got your other end. Um, so it's just a button there, it looks like it attaches, it's got a few attachments, so you've got a, um, I think so, a lance attachment, this one, okay, this one I'm a little confused about, I don't, I don't fucking know, I'll probably read the instructions, but that seems like far too much of a... Uh, never mind, there's no fucking instructions. Okay, so we've got a brush attachment. Uh, open us up, see what it's like. Hmm, so that's alright, it's quite a soft brush. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm always a bit wary that I'm gonna clean too hard on the bike and um, actually cause some damage. I'm gonna tip out the rest here just up for you to see. So we've got. So we've got a different kind of nozzle. I think it could just be a spare. Um, they're exactly the same, so I'm assuming it's just a spare part. Just attaches on that bit. And we have different attachments here. Looks like it's different. I think they're actually the same one. Yeah, so it's two with little four holes. I'm guessing it's for a more wider, uh, a wider spray anyway. Um, I am going to assume. Oh, I broke it, never mind. <laughs> Let me put that valve back on here. I'm going to assume this is your spray head here. And there's a few different nozzles. Okay, so that uh, just screws on and off there. And I'm assuming this would screw on to the end of here. I'd be wrong. Uh, okay, so that's, oh, my mistake, that's the difference between these two um, in the little wee bag there. One has the threads on the inside, one has them on the outside. The one goes on to the end of this pole here, and one just goes on to your attachment here. That's maybe the slight difference in these as well. One has a actual lar much larger thread than the other. Again, assuming it's to go on to this pole here. 
I'm just going to check see if there's any contents or anything. Lance spray. Trigger with the lot. Okay, yeah. So no, it's just that's yeah. That's everything here. So the one with the larger head, which is the one already attached, is for your lance spray, which will just go on. Yeah, it's got the valve there. Yeah, so it just screws onto there. Yeah. It's got one at the end there, which would be this one. So again, it goes on to the end, and kind of have to put it on the right way up. So it's got a seal on the outside. It's not terribly helpful. There we go. Seal on the inside. Might actually fucking help. Right. There we go. So we got. Oh, we spray on now. Can't really see that. Right, so that's all my bits and pieces with it. Well, I'm interested to see how it goes and how much actual pressure you get with it. So obviously, I need to be careful where I do this because it's going to look a bit odd. I might get some noise from the neighbours here. It's difficult to tell without any water in it obviously I'll give it a proper go but this is a yeah, it's not sound good so I mean that's that's a release of the air it's just nothing to say about that I don't know how much of a difference the uh, nozzle lines will make what I do is get a proper it says it goes to 40 psi approximately and um, so I'm going to just give this a quick pumping and um, see what kind of pressure we're getting out of it anyway. I'm going to pump that up for a minute or so, quite easy, and this is quite a difficult place to do, come a bit higher than it would be, if it was on the ground you just pumping up and down might be a bit easier, so just give it a quick. I, uh, so that's lost pressure pretty quick. I think it's going to take a, a, a quite a significant amount of um, pressurization, sorry it's just got a release valve there, so I guess I've just taken off a little refill it. To give that a pull so you can um, take it off without it blowing your heat off, or at least flying up in your heat. I don't know, I mean, yeah, I'll take it outside. Um, I'll fill it up and then take it outside and give it a whirl on the bike and see, see what we're working with here. Right, here I am. Looking like quite frankly shit in front of my building, like humongous penis. So I have pumped up the pump here. Uh, I tried it out in a house just to see how it was doing. I've got a bit of like, car wash soap, whatever you want to call it, in there to try and soap it down first. I've got with a brush to start with. I did find these little wee clips in here. Just put the brush on, push it down and push it forward and it keeps it on so you have to kick the button to press the whole time. So just have a quick clean with this and see if we can get the froth out of it. A bit of soapiness going and uh,
stick head. I'm almost there, as you can see, I'm not really having to put too much effort. I mean, this isn't that tiring, really. I mean, same as in your car. I know it's sort of a rinse, but it's not bad. As you can see, the bike at least, I don't know about the car, but the bike is so, a lot spare. I mean, I've already realistically washed all the way around. This is a light wash, I need to water finishing up then. Okay, so we're down to just air now. So that's the uh, scrub done. So what we need now is a rinse. So there's no one else around, no one next to the fucking ship. I need to run over there and fill it up in the bin room. And this is heating and stuff's gonna get stolen. Which is super. I'm getting the excess gas out because it's obviously good off the here because it's going to pop up and I don't want to black out and have to tell people how that happened. Make up a good story though. Fight with the uh, junkie, probably worse than cheating. Right, so I need to just go and fill this up now. But in a way that doesn't get my shit stolen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera for a minute, take it with me, come back and finish this. As we talked, I was just putting water and get a tank a quick one. Lucky for me, the bin room down here does have um, a tap in it. So that's all I'm going to do with that. It's still no different than having to use a couple of buckets. The uh, difference is it's getting a bit of wash. Um, so I'm going to the tub as well. So eight litres is a lot. You can see the mags all over the bike and some spare. I could have easily done that in half a tank, I think, if there wasn't some packet of filthy water in it. So now we're going to use this and just try and rinse it down and um, yeah, see if that's good enough to finish it off and see if that's good enough, really. Should be.
It's actually rinsed out and it's like still got a quarter of a tank left, so it's more than enough to do the bike. It's not a powerful rinse. It's not no one would call it anywhere near a pressure washer, but it's good enough for a rinse, you're not putting dirty water from the bucket back over it. I mean I wouldn't say it's that much different from using a pressure washer at the garage or at home or anything other than if you had some really stuck on stuff that you really didn't need to pressure wash off, if you're just looking to clean it, I mean, it's been absolutely fine, but I'm sure we summon up once we're back upstairs and get all this sorted. Yeah, so that's done. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's never going to replace a proper powered pressure washer, uh, but if you've got the limited kind of access to water, I mean, I filled this twice and that was enough to wash the bike and then rinse it off and spare on each. If in the car, you'd maybe need one and a half, two, to give it a proper scrub with the soap, and then uh, it'd be tough to judge on the rinse, but I don't think you'd be using more than if you were just using a bucket, and I think you got a better clean with using this than you would just a bucket and soap and that, because you just had a bit more fresh water going over it rather than dipping a sponge in a dirty bucket every time. For 15 quid, I'd say it's well worth it. Um, the pressure was okay, it was nothing spectacular. Um, I certainly wouldn't call it a pressure washer. Maybe you know you've got the a good scrubber and then the just something to rinse it off with. So if you're looking to still be able to get the you know, like a really bad state in bird shit, whatever, off of it, it's probably still gonna need to go to the garage, but realistically a bit of elbow grease would be fine and still easier than as I said the bucket with the water and everything. Carrying it up and down stairs for me is just impossible. So yeah, 15 quid, I think it does the job. Durability wise, it seems solid enough, but if there's any issues, I will update in the description. But uh, hopefully it holds out, and yeah, it's a good recommend this after the first go, but we'll see how it holds up. Thanks.